So below me here, you might find yourself a little bit overwhelmed with all of these links. Budgeting and thinking about the future can be a little bit scary and sometimes advice can just be a little bit too much to take in. But fear not, you've already made the first step by deciding to do this course, so good on ya. You're on your way to making your own budget that will suit your lifestyle and circumstances. So let's go through this step by step. If you're more old school and you prefer things written on paper, there are heaps of worksheets available to download that will help you to get started. We've already got a few listed below, so make sure to check these out. Or if you're more technologically inclined, there are heaps of apps available on both Apple and Android app stores. So all you have to do is search budget, download a couple and play around with them until you find one that suits you. All right, so you've chosen your budget. Now let's take a closer look. One big problem a lot of people find is where to begin. Luckily, if you have a good template at hand, it's easier than you'd think, though it does take some time and effort. Let's start with your income. This is the money that you receive from things like wages or salary, a benefit, child support, orders, etc. So, for example, if this is my income, this is my total income. Next, weekly expenses. This is where you have to start considering your day-to-day -day lifestyle a bit more. Okay, so let's say I pay this much in IRD payments, this much for groceries, rent, petrol, cigarettes, preschool, and other weekly costs such as, well, you know, personal shopping. So let's write down the total here. Now on to monthly expenses. Okay, so I will have an overdraft fee of this much. My power bills and internet bills are usually around here. My cell phone. And lucky for me, I don't have any loans. So let's see my monthly costs. Times this by 12 and divide that by 52 to find the weekly cost. And now, here are the yearly expenses. I don't have my own house, but I do have contents insurance. I also have car insurance, rego, wolf. No rates, luckily, but I do have a gym membership. Okay, so my yearly expenses are divided by 52. And I also take pretty good care of my health and my children. So my other expenses include medical and dental care, presents for birthdays and Christmas, clothing budget for the whole family, and vet fees for the cat. <laughs> right, and also divide this by 52, and we get my total here. Yes, as you can see, my total expenses are less than my income. So what's left over? Okay, not so much. Well, it's better than nothing, but I think I can do better. So while I have a look at how I can minimize my unnecessary spending, why don't you have a look at making your own budget? And we'll see you very soon.